A rare sight in Arizona tonight. A severe geomagnetic storm could cause colorful auroras due to a powerful solar flare from the sun. NOAA says the solar storm classified as a level four on a scale from one to five could even disrupt communications and satellite operations. Oh, so big question <clears throat> is what does that mean for us here in Arizona? Can we see it? Let's check in with Pete who's taking a look at the Aurora forecast. Yes, you know, and uh, I got an email from the expert at Arizona State, and she mm -hmm. says you may be able to see the northern lights tonight, maybe not okay. quite as many as we saw in May. Remember that beautiful yes. show that we had yeah. in May? In a second, I'm going to show you pictures from that. But she says it is possible, so she's hopeful okay. from viewing tonight. So let's talk about that forecast and exactly what's going on here. So basically, we have this geomagnetic storm watch that has been issued for today and tomorrow. Why has that been issued? Well, we have something called a CME that happened a couple days ago. That's a coronal mass ejection. That's a burst of energy from the sun. And as it makes its way towards the Earth, it interacts with the Earth's magnetic field and it can produce a brilliant light show. So let's talk about the forecast here. All right, so here is the general uh, view from the Space Prediction Center. Now, don't get too disappointed when you see this because you'll notice the uh, forecast, the colors don't really cover Arizona, but it is still possible that we get a northern lights viewing, but you can see the brightest views will be further to the north in a northern parts of the United States, like the Northern Plains. And um, as we go over the next couple nights, as I mentioned, our experts said that uh, you want to get away from the lights when you're viewing the northern lights. That seems common sense, but of course, any kind of light pollution that's around will make it tougher to see. Between uh, 10 p.m. and 2 a.m., that's the recommended time to see this. Of course, it's not limited to that. You might be able to see the northern lights outside of that window, but obviously, you want to do it when it's dark. And let me show you some pictures from May. Now, again, I want to qualify this because she says, our expert says from Arizona State, Katrina Bosart, she says, probably not quite as brilliant as this light show was in May, but I still wanted to show you what we saw. This was on May 11th. I hope I'm saying your name right, Chirag. This is uh, coming from our first alert Facebook page back in May. Look at that brilliant light show. Hopefully we get something close to that tonight, even if it's not quite as good, Scott and Tess. I think we're still looking at uh, maybe something that could be really fun to see. And of course, yeah. our first alert Facebook page lights up. Yes, okay, literally yeah. when uh, things like this yeah. happen. Those so if you see something, send them in. Absolutely. Send them in. Yeah. All mm -hmm. right, Pete, thank you. Yep.